day 1145 uh just got off of a call uh with my friend the lady who uh ran the event and uh god just put it on my heart to ask her for help and we get on the call and it's so crazy because when i reached out to her two days ago i had no idea how i was going to move forward with my business and then yesterday god was it's just so clear it's time to launch my speaking business out to the world um and my personal brand out to the world and the warriors of god brand out to the world and um we get on the call and and i show her the timeline she's like wow that's so amazing and like she was just blown away by the timeline and the framework and everything um and she just told me like she just got three offers to speak on three different stages and they're like dream stages for her like stages where she's been in the audience and she's just like please lord one day let me speak on this stage uh which was just so perfect like the timing and everything um and and we just had a, a a deeper discussion and um i've been trained by the the guy who is the guy when it comes to um speaking on stages and building a business from that and he has something called your signature talk which is the same talk you give on all different stages it's just the same talk and uh god just gave her this like you can have a signature talk or you can have a sig signature message the problem with having a signature talk is there's no room for the holy spirit to show up because it's all structured and it goes in exact order and you have to get through it exactly that way and she's like what you need is a signature message what you have is more of a signature message than a signature talk and i was like oh my gosh she'd never said that before and we were both like wow that's so good and she's like jesus didn't have a signature talk he had a signature message he preached the same message in a different way to different groups of people, um, but he wasn't around there running around preaching the same exact message, the same exact talk, you know, from here to here to here to here to here, right? He knew his audience and he knew his message and he spoke to them. He spoke his signature message, but he did it in a unique way every time. And I was just like, wow, that's so good. And um, I know that, that my message is significant. And, you know, she said to me, she said, uh, Chris, you're not just meant to speak on stages. You're meant to make stages. You are made to make stages. And the anointing that God has given you. And she was like, when I was seeing you speak on on the stage, I was just like, Lord, thank you for pointing him out to me. Thank you for highlighting him out to me. Because I had booked all the other speakers six months in advance. And God just like, this opening came up. And God was just like, Chris. And I was like, okay. And um, and it was just like wow so so super powerful um she has different programs and stuff that i can do um with her um and she's like and just as a brother like if you need to get connected to anyone like you just let me know and i'll make the connection in a heartbeat you don't have to be like a customer or a client of mine um just as a brother like uh being my brother i'll connect you um without a doubt so so i gotta work on my speaker kit i gotta i gotta just go through and make this thing happen um which is just, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. And um, I know God's going to do something incredible. My mom called me this morning. I got a message for the Warriors this last night when I was praying at, at church um, about everything's being aligned like a key, like a lock and a key or a key and a lock and uh, get off the call. And um, my mom calls me a little bit later and she's like, Christopher, that was every call is a brick of gold and you're literally bil building a pyramid of bricks of gold like these calls are gold they're worth a million dollars each like and it was just like super encouraging and that was amazing and then last night uh when i was leading our x18 group um there was a guy there that was uh talking about like you know his career and he's a, he's been a professional dancer and he just got injured and so he lost some gigs and and all the stuff and he was like messed up and i was like bro just know like God's rearranging things. And I, I happened to bring this with me uh, from my other business. Um, and I actually ripped it in half in front of him. And I was like, bro, this is garbage compared to what God has given me. Now in the world, this is a multi-million dollar brand and coaching tool. It's, it's brilliant, you know, and I built everything. You know, I got this uh, built out. I created a lion journal. I had an online court, like I had it all. I had it all and I went and launched it to the world and I spoke on one stage and then right after that Jesus grabbed me and said uh-uh wrong direction and I was going to build a, a kingdom of darkness I was going to build an empire for the kingdom of hell and I didn't even know it and he took me from that to warriors of God and it's infinitely better and so I was just encouraging him like bro don't get upset like God could be helping you dodge a missile and so this is where you got to lean into him and go to him, not be upset with him because, you know, you got hurt, you got injured and you can't dance. 
And it was just this encouraging moment, just speaking so much life in this guy, just going to town. And God was just giving me scripture after scripture after scripture. And it was just, it was incredible. So, um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, today's Friday. We have our uh, friends giving at church. So all the people to serve are coming together and doing a big potluck at seven o'clock tonight. So I'm going to shower and get ready. And then I'm going to go to church and work and yeah, I got a I got a speaking business to build, which is uh, really exciting, and I have a step by step framework to follow, uh, which is awesome. Definitely, um, a little concerned about making money. Like, Lord, how am I going to build this and make money between now and then, now in that first stage, or now when I launch this all like, what am I going to do for the next few weeks? And I don't know, I got $4. Oh, and it's so crazy. Last night uh, in our group, there were just four of us in the group. It was a small group yesterday. Um, and the same guy was talking about money and like, you know, I, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent now because I just lost two dancing gigs. And, um, and, uh, and he was just, the money was just like messing him up. And I told him a story about how uh, four months ago or something, I got down to nothing. My phone got shut off. Wow, I had a dream that my phone got shut off last night. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> I went to send someone a text message and it wouldn't go through. And I was like, what? Oh, wow. That's funny. Um, and I told him that story. And that at the end of those two weeks, I got delivered um, from the spirit of greed. And I no longer worship money. And... And, uh, I was just like, I did something bold. I was like, okay, God. And I said, bro, guess how much money I have in my bank account right now? Guess how much money I have right now? And, uh, he guessed 30,000. The guy next to him guessed $5. The guy next to him guessed 10,000. I was like, I don't know. Let's see. I open up my bank account and I literally show all of them in my, in my checking account, $4 and 38 cents in my other checking account, 30 cents, my other checking account, like 78 cents. I'm like, that's what I have. And I'm in love with the life I'm living. I'm so on fire. Like I'm so happy and inspired and fulfilled because I know this is temporary and I trust his promises above what I see on a screen. Like my screen will never be bigger than my Lord and my God. And I know this is only temporary. This is just a matter of time. The things that he's aligning, the abundance of fulfillment, everything that he's lining up, like this is only temporary. This is just a season and I will never go back to this. Like, and, and it was just like this encouraging moment. I was like, so you're worried about money. I bet you have more money than I do, don't you? And he literally laughed. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, bro, this is our faith. Like we're called to trust the promises of God more than, than the world. And it's easy to look at the world and get intimidated and discouraged. Um, but that's why we have to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus and his promises. Because he is, he is not a man, a human that he can lie. And so his promises are true. He fulfills them always. Um, and that's what we have to honor. So, uh, yeah, it was cool. So God's doing something big. It's no accident that, you know, um, one of my friends and mentors happens to have a successful speaking business in his landing stages left and right. Like, yeah, it's just, uh, it's crazy. So I don't know what God has planned next, but, um, yeah, it'll line up. Until then, I'll eat potatoes and rice. <laughs> That's my breakfast, my lunch, and it won't be my dinner because we're going to have a big potluck. So I'll have a, a feast tonight for dinner. But then tomorrow I'll have potatoes and rice. And uh, yeah. Hmm. This is like such a pivotal point in my life. Yeah.